everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner and welcome to my channel. My name is Kezia and this obviously is my corner. I hope you enjoy the coming video. If you're a new person that just came across Kezia's Corner, I would love it if you would subscribe. I post every single Wednesdays and Fridays, which will be my makeup related videos. And then Sundays are my vlog days where I also share my braces journey as well. Obviously, thank you so much for those of you who are coming back and watching yet another video on my channel it means a lot that you did come back and that you're enjoying my content so today's video is going to be all about the friends collection the third one from revolution i had purchased this a while ago but i thought that after the friends reunion it was fitting to actually sit down and film it because I was very nostalgic especially throughout the reunion I was like laughing crying laughing and crying it was so beautiful to see them all together and them recreating certain moments and it was just bliss it was beautiful to watch I thought it was the perfect timing to obviously come here sit down with you and talk about the friends collection from revolution they have released three there's so many items now list everything down below if you wish to obviously purchase them. I am going to go ahead and now get started with today's video so if you want to see what products I got, what I thought of them and how I actually created this look then keep on watching and if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Okay so let's begin. I'm very 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 excited. The box is here which is full of things so I'm literally just going to start by showing you what I got and we're going to be using one of the palettes and then hopefully I'll do like a series of like the friends series or something I think that is what I have in my mind. So I got two of their sheet masks because they actually did sheet masks and I got the one of Joey which has the clear complexion salicylic sheet mask and then I also got the one of Monica which has the pore refining niacinamide sheet mask. I think the salicylic and the niacinamide are two of my favorite ingredients for skincare and that is why I got these two, but I haven't tried them out. What happened was in one of my orders, they actually forgot to send me the one of Joey and the Friends for Revolution palette, one of them, the Forever Flawless one in We Were On A Break. So then I had to like wait yeah, as I was saying, when I got the order where I had actually ordered all of the Friends collection, well, most of it basically, I mostly got the eyeshadow palettes because that is what I was excited about. They actually forgot to, to send me the We Were On A Break one. So then I had to obviously wait for another order to come in with the Joey one and the We Were On A Break one. But anyways, let me just show you what else I got. I also got the Racial Setting Spray, which is the Energizing Fixing Spray with Hyaluronic and Caffeine Spray, which is this one right here and I cannot wait to try it out and as you can see they have the iconic sofa and then we got the two palettes from the forever flawless collection so this is the one called we were on a break i i used to love that ma that episode those episodes of the we were on a break one and ross is just amazing like he's just amazing and even in the reunion he just he just was Ross, basically. So this is the palette from the We Wear On A Break. And basically, it's a very, very, very colorful, beautiful palette. As you can see, it has like that pop of purple, that pink, that yellow, that green, the orange. It has everything, blues and all. So yeah, it is quite an interesting palette. Very different to what I have obviously, you know, thought of, you know, when they said that they're going to be releasing another Friends collection. So this is very, very cool. So then we have this one. This is the Friends Forever Flawless. I'll be there for you, obviously with the sofa on the front. And that's where they actually filmed when there was, when they were being interviewed on the Union show. And this, I think, is the one that I'm going to be using for today, simply because I am going to be going out for lunch. And then I also got the three <laughs> small palettes of the boys. So over here we have the Chandler one. And the Chandler one has the room of their apartment, of Joey and Chandler's apartment. Okay, so this is Chandler's palette. I would have never imagined Chandler to be with these kind of shades, honestly. And it has like different things like Hello, Mr. Bing. Company didn't do Janice. I think Chandler would, you know, they, they need to do a shade called Janice. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Joey's is the one with the sofa, the classic sofa where Joey <laughs> used to love spending his time. And 
the shades look like this. So Joey's shades are really fun. I don't know, they really remind me of like a lot of fun. Like the Dr. Drake one is amazing. They also named the Joey, Nat Partner, Bamboozle, Tripiani, JR, Turkey, of course, Mary Angela and Trifles. So yeah, there's a lot of fun colors in this palette. I prefer Joey's to Chandler's. Ross is more of the wearable eyeshadow palette that you can use for your everyday makeup look. Okay, and then Ross has his sofa in his apartment. So it just looks like that. So this is Ross's palette. It is just a lovely, stunning, wearable, very wearable palette with some beautiful shades every day. I love the My Sandwich, the dinosaur one. Oh, the leather pants, which actually they featured in the reunion. Break, of course, Fossil Unagi. <laughs> Juice box, keyboard, and white tea. That was hilarious as well. I remember that. <laughs> I used to love friends, honestly. Yes, growing up, sometimes you know, you used to not obviously get the best of friends, but then you learn. And I used to learn actually through them. You know, they showed me what true friends are. Okay, so I'm just going to start by using the I'll Be There for You palette. I think this is the one that I kind of want to use today, and that is what I'm going to do. So we're going to just start by obviously using it and seeing what look I create. Okay, so I'm just going to look at it. Again, this is the palette of I'll Be There For You. I'm wearing something very light, so I need something lightish. I think I'm going to start by using, ooh, I love this, Dirty Day, which is this one right here. I'm going to just apply that in my crease. I love how it has the umbrella embossed in each of the palettes, oh, in each of the shades, sorry. I've already obviously applied my makeup, I've already done my brows, applied primer, foundation, concealer I kind of forgot to apply, <laughs> and powder, so yeah, that, that, that happened. So I'm just applying Dirty Day on my crease, sort of at the very top of my crease, because that is where I want to, I still don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, <laughs> Chandler's Job, oh my God. There's one of the shades called Chandler's Job and that is also a classic and they actually mentioned it as well on the reunion where they were doing a quiz <laughs> between the boys and the girls. <laughs> it's hilarious. Ooh, my braces need a change. That's why I'm going on Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm going to be getting my braces tightened. Okay, I think the next one would be Kips. I think it would fit very nice next to Dirty Day. So I'm just going to take Kips on the same brush. I'm using this Kiko number 56. I'm just going to literally place this in my crease, just like this. Ooh, it, it like deepens it out a little bit more. Okay, I think I really like that. Okay, now I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I kind of want to try, for some reason, I want to try a bit of uh, jellyfish. For some reason, I want to try it because it's calling my name. So this is the shade called Jellyfish. And <laughs> they actually did a reading of it on the reunion and I absolutely, oh my goodness, they're still so able to still go into their characters, which is pretty amazing. It's like it's making me feel like I want to Go back and re-watch the show. So I'm going to put this sort of at the outer edge sort of of my lid. So something like this. Oh, it's such a pretty pink, honestly. It's a beautiful pink. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Kips again and I'm just going to blend in with the jellyfish. I feel like on the other eyelid, it like packed on better. Sometimes this eyelid, I don't know, it has a mind of its own. I think I'm just gonna take also whom, and I'm going to actually put it, whom, I'm going to actually put it at the outer edge. Further on the other side than jellyfish. Just going to be like my outer corner. I usually obviously use matte shades but again these two are shimmer shades i guess i'm trying to be a little bit more adventurous with my 
shimmers. So I'm gonna just take kicks again and I'm just going to blend the outer edge. Absolutely love the look so far. Hmm. Okay, as a shimmer, I would say Over Me is definitely calling my name and Over Me is this one right there. I'm going to obviously try and apply Over Me with a brush and I'm just going to see what happens. Okay, I think, okay, I'm just going to actually use my brush first to outline where I want Over Me. It's a very beautiful shimmer shade, even just with the brush. But I guess if you want a bit more intensity, we'll definitely use our fingertips to do that. Ooh, so much better. Like the glitter particles are so much better with just applying it with your fingertips. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm gonna take jellyfish again. And I'm just going to gently like blend that out with over me. Absolutely, oh my goodness, I love it. I absolutely love this look. It is so pretty, it is so me, very pink, as I like it. So now we're going to put a shade at the bottom. And I think the bottom shade will use 30 Day. There's no fallout as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So now we're going to use, obviously, a shimmer shade. There's this shimmer shade from We Were On A Break called Duck which is absolutely, ooh, stunning. We'll definitely use this one day. Okay, I think I'm gonna use maybe of Ross, let me see. So there's this shade called Dinosaur, which is in Ross's palette. And I know it's like a very, very pink shade, but let's see how it actually transfers when you put it in your inner corner. Ooh, whoa. That is absolutely Stunning, honestly. I'm so happy we chose that shade, honestly. I'm not gonna do lashes, obviously, because I'm in a rush and I don't have time to do them. If I were to have a little bit of more minutes, I would. My God, look, I have to definitely wash my brushes. I have this mascara from Evolution. It's the Lift and the Fine 5D Extra Lash. Absolutely love this. It is one of my favorites right now. So I'm going to do the difference. It's Amazing, like mascara just creates such a beautiful effect on your eyes. We're gonna use the I Heart Revolution Milk Chocolate Palette. This has this bronzer over here, and that is the bronzer I'm going to be using today. I'm gonna take this Revolution Blush Reloaded Rhubarb Custard Blush, because now I apply blush every single time. Then for highlight, I'm going to be using the Splendor Ultra Glow Highlight in Luster, which looks like this, like literally as big as my freaking face. But it's a very, very, very natural, subtle highlight. So if you're looking for a subtle highlight, I would definitely recommend this. I actually use the Racial Setting Spray and I have to open it. All right. I don't know if I like the smell as well. I have to think about it. So now for lips, I forgot I had this. I got the Racial Lip Kit because the girls have their lip kits now as well. But basically the lip kit actually comes with two pigmented lip glosses and one lip liner. Oh man, I thought they were lip kits, as in like lipsticks. So I'm just going to use, I guess, the lip liner. This is the lip pencil. Okay, <laughs> cool. And this is what it looks like. Sharpen it. So I'm going to just gently do it because I always break lip liners. That's why I don't even use them. The lip glosses, so I have, actually I have two. So this one is, I don't know, there's like different shades to them, but I don't think so. So this is one and then this is the other. I don't know, I think, I think I want this one. Let's just see what happens with this one. So I'm gonna take the lighter one and I'm just gonna see. Okay, I think I like that. It's a very pretty like kind of pink. I've got a tissue paper and I'm just going to use it to mattify it. That's fine, right? 
<laughs> I wish these were in lip glosses, but I didn't notice that they are lipsticks, as in matte lipsticks. I didn't notice. <sighs> Anyways, it's fine. It's a really pretty um, shade as well, though. And it goes really well with the eyeshadow look that we have today. That is, this is the finished makeup look. I actually really, really like it. I have no complaints. I think, yeah, that is the only complaint that I could think of is that I wish that the matte lip, the lip kits were actually matte lipsticks rather than lip glosses. Or if maybe just like one lipstick and then one lip gloss. I think that would have been amazing but it's fine so yeah i am done this is the finished look i will definitely maybe like throughout the coming weeks or so start filming some makeup looks with the other eyeshadow palettes from the revolution line even including the other smaller palettes of the girls because i don't think i've ever featured them on my youtube channel so stay tuned for that if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye!